Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. This is day 17 of our trek and today we're looking at the importance of a checklist to help us to stay on the trail. We are recording our podcast from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are the beginning of a new week and it looks like it'll be a busy and exciting adventure as always. We are on a hot spell here in North Carolina this week with temps nearing 100 degrees every day. And it looks like the entire eastern U.S. will experience much of the same. As we continue our upward trek today, the beautiful blue sky calls us higher and higher. As I look out at the cloudless sky, it makes me desire to take up flying again, to be able to soar above the terrain and the obstacles of life. I obtained my private pilot's license when our oldest son Harry was in high school. In fact, we had the blessing of taking lessons at the same time, and Harry was able to receive his private pilot's license even before he got his driver's license. I went on to get my instrument rating at the time, both for the peace of mind and for safety's sake. It was enjoyable, and I do miss flying currently, but with my responsibilities and workload for this season of life, it's not a priority at this time. It does take a lot of commitment in both time and resources. My commitments are focused elsewhere for now. Another analogy that we will look at today, similar to flying, is the preparation needed if we were to decide to set out on a long and difficult trek, such as hiking the entire Appalachian Trail, which runs through the mountains of North Carolina. In both of these examples, one of the first items that would be required is a complete and detailed checklist. As a pilot, even a private pilot, the entire process of flying from flight planning, pre-flight inspection, flying, landing, and safely parking the aircraft, each step in the process is driven by a detailed checklist. If these checklists are not followed exactly, it literally could be the difference between life and death. One of the most important elements in flight training is safety, And one of the most essential safety procedures is the pre-flight checklist. There are as many checklists as there are models of planes because the pre-flight checklist is of utmost importance. A good pilot knows that having a pre-flight checklist can avert a disaster. Even with the most detailed checklist though, pilot training always includes expecting the unexpected. One flight where I took Paula with me, the electrical system malfunctioned and we lost all lighting and communications with the tower. This could be serious. Fortunately, we flew out of a small regional airport near Marietta, Ohio, and we were near the airport at the time, so we were able to safely land and call the control tower after landing to explain the situation. The extra training we received on how to handle this type of situation came in very valuable on that day. Well, let's get back on the ground and continue on our trek. Imagine if we were going to hike the Appalachian Trail. What would be on our checklist? While I have never hiked anywhere close to that long or difficult of trail, I have read several articles from those who have hiked all or part of it. The checklist for this trail is extensive, and if you're not prepared, the hike can be very dangerous. Completing the entire 2,185 miles of the Appalachian Trail in one trip is a mammoth undertaking, which can take as much as three months or more. It requires great determination and commitment, but can potentially be accomplished by anyone with the ability to walk. That's not to say that hiking this would be easy. The footpath of the Appalachian Trail was far more rugged than most anticipate, given the soft and gentle profiles of the mountain and relatively low elevations. Each year, thousands of hikers attempt what's called a through-hike, but only about one in four makes it all the way. Who knows, I might even attempt a through-hike at some point. As it is with our trek of life, first we need to have a good understanding of where we are heading and why. We then need to plan on how we are going to travel towards our destination. Well, we can refer back to day 12 for some guidance as we discuss the compass and the clock. But each of us should have a set of guidelines or code that we live by on a daily basis. This will establish our baseline for the directions that we need each day. We may not see a lot of progress made on certain days, but it does not take too long to realize that the days string together quickly. If we don't have a set of guidelines, or as it were, a checklist, we will stumble blindly on, never ending up where we desire to be. You may establish your guidelines or checklists on a different moral code than I do, but we all have to have a compass that gives us direction. If your compass is not functioning and not pointing to the true north, then it will show up in your lack of integrity and commitment. My personal moral compass is the Bible, which I consider to be God's word. It has been my guide throughout my life. Just as in flying, there is a checklist for every aspect of the flying process, and I consider God's Word to be my complete checklist for my life. I'm not referring to a legalistic set of rules that I must follow, but through the spirit of love, living in such a way that my manner of life and my integrity stands true in every single area of my life. The most famous checklist of all time, and is the basis of most civilized governments of today, is referred to as the Ten Commandments. 
It sets the moral standards for how we should conduct ourselves in every situation. I'd like to read you my paraphrase version taken from Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. Number one, there is only one God. He comes first. Number two, worship only God. Number three, don't misuse God's name. Number four, set aside one day a week for rest. It is holy. Number five, honor your parents equals a long and abundant life. Number six, don't murder. Number seven, don't cheat on your spouse. Number eight, don't steal. Number nine, don't lie about your neighbors. And number ten, don't desire what is not yours to have. All of the laws that were set up in the Old Testament of the Bible were to show how far short we fall from being God ourselves. It's not possible for us to achieve that standard. Fortunately, we do not have a long checklist that we need to follow for each day of our lives. In fact, it's quite short, and yet it covers all that we need. In Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 40, Jesus put it this way, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law and all the demands of the prophets are based on these two commandments. I like to put it a slightly different way. When you love God above all and love others as yourself, the rest of life issues will take care of themselves. But Christ even boiled it down more simply for us, which is referred to as the golden rule and is taken from Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Do unto others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. What is your checklist for life? Can you articulate it? And do you follow it each day? Let's make sure that our moral compass points to the true north, that our destination is known, and that each day of our trek of life is lived with integrity. This will ensure a solid footing, regardless of how rough the terrain may be. Well, that'll finish our podcast for today. Check out today's journal entry for a free PDF summary checklist of what is needed for a successful life trek. Tomorrow we will look at another analogy of flying, of why planes always take off and land heading into the wind, and such is our trek of life. So please check into camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. As always, I encourage you to leave a discussion topic, comment, suggestion, or question about the podcast in the comment form on wisdom-trek.com forward slash day 17, or email me at guthrie at venturecg.com. If you'd like us to discuss any of these topics or answer any questions during our podcast, please let us know. We'd love to have the interaction from members of our Wisdom Trek team. I encourage you to subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher so it will be downloaded every day automatically. And please leave us a rating on either iTunes or Stitcher. This will mean so much to us. Give us the feedback that we need and spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Trek. I really appreciate it and thank you in advance. Check out wisdom-trek.com for our daily journal, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day. See you tomorrow.